Now, if you meet that minimum score, we're not done with you yet. We're still going to put you through hell. All right. Like Amy, Amy said, mic drop. That's it. <laughs> done. So if they, if they meet, if they don't meet a minimum score on this second phase of screening, we send them an email that says, go away. If they do, we send them on to do uh, personality assessments. These are more like the scientific type of thing. This is outsourced and integrated with our platform. So this is more like your disc profile type of thing. A um, little bit uh, more like some of those profiles. And there's a couple that we like to ask. Um, and let me stop and say one thing too. These sets of questions that we have also can work on sales, but we have different ones that are specific to uncover some thing about uh, some things about sales. Office manager, ops manager, we have specific ones with data behind those as well. So we can get really job title specific. The same thing with our assessments here. There's also sales potential. If you're hiring a salesperson, there's customer service. If you're hiring customer service, um, there's actually one that's not listed on here, but we have that is um, managerial judgment. If you're hiring a manager of some sort, the three that we like to use the most are emotional stability. And when you strip away the fanciness of that, it basically says, how do you handle stress? You got to drive. That's stressful. You deal with human beings, that can be stressful. Weather and driving and working outside is stressful, let alone your personal life. That's all fine. We just want to know if you can handle it. The next thing we want to find out is how and uncover a little bit about is your level of integrity. Obviously, self-explanatory. We want to hire honest people. And then the optimist. We want people that are positive and that are looking, um, are generally happy people. And those people are just marvelous for our culture. And the way we figure it is this, if you are somebody that can handle stress, you're honest and you're super optimistic and we've uncovered an awful lot about you on this phase here, those two things. And then the last thing we do is look at their resume to make sure they're not job hopping and to make sure they're not moving all over the place, that they have a stable residency. The data shows that if you made it through all that, and by the way, we prop nobody's talked to this human being. We haven't even emailed this human being. And we yeah, know this more. All, this all happened while we were sleeping in about an hour. Yep. And, and we know more about this human being than most of his family and half his friends. And we yeah. haven't even talked to him yet. Okay. The other thing that we're doing through all this too, at least for our, our, our managers out there in the field with Blue Skies and our external clients when we recruit, is we've got somebody that's doing all the engaging with these candidates. So nobody is calling you and saying, hey man, how much do you pay? And are you gonna drug test, man, if, if, I, if I do this? We handle all that, we deal with it. You don't deal with it as a client or, or a manager out in the field at Blue Skies. We handle all that stuff. If you make it through all that, we're gonna interview you. And 95% of the time at Blue Skies, we're gonna hire you. I like the, uh, on that personality assessment that it covers our main core values, which are yep. positive attitude with the optimism and ownership and accountability with the integrity. Like yep. we're, we're hitting our core values. So we make sure when we hire somebody, they're coming in uh, representing the culture that we want. Like it's right. all about hiring to your culture. So when they show up, they're not like surprised by your culture. They're not surprised by you trying to, like create a positive atmosphere. Like, oh God, these people are trying to be so damn positive. Like, you're damn right we are. Like, right. we're here to have a good time. They're like, yeah, we got to go clean some stuff, but we're not going to do it and drag about it. Uh, and if, you know, if that was what you wanted, you wouldn't have made it through this far. Like, you got to be, yeah. you gotta have it, some pep in your step to show up. For sure. If if anybody out there is is recruited, you know, and hired a couple, you know, maybe a dozen or so people in your time, um, not not necessarily every month or every year, but even if you've just done 12 or 13 hires over the years, uh, there's not been a time where I've been involved in recruiting where and hiring people and then watching them work where I've said at the interview table sometimes before this, 
this dude's a rock star. There's no, I, I want, this guy needs to be hired now, man. This guy's awesome. Just to find out two months later, that was one of the worst hires I had and vice versa. I'm looking at somebody going, man, I know I need a, you know, this, I got to have a pulse. So I'm going to hire this person anyway. And they're one of the best employees, or at least they were, they surprised me and they're good. And that type of thing, when you're looking at yourself going, man, how did, how did that happen? How does, if you use these questions and this uh, rating system and get some data behind it, you're not going to be scratching your head going, man, that was surprising. Very little people get through this and surprise you.